Hey guys, Matea here with Elegant Embellishments and today I'm here with you um, because I want to share my uh, design team project for D. So I've created a lace book and all I can say is ofta, like this took a lot of work and I'm so happy with how it turned out and I put so much love into this so I hope you like what I've created here at D for, um, to showcase your products in your store. So D is Elgin Embellishments on Zibit and I'll leave that information below so you can go check out her store as well as my coupon code. Um, so let's get started. So I constructed the book out of felt and then I sewed on this gorgeous lace panel from D. And then I did some fun decorative stitching just at the top and the bottom just to give it a little interest. And then I've used this large applique from my stash. I've used Dee's rose applique there and then her cameo charm with the pearl dangle. So pretty. And then for my closure, I've just done the mermaid lace, uh, which I'll just tie in a bow. And then when you open it up, the first page I just wanted to leave empty so I can put a message here for my friend. And I've used this gorgeous um, braided, Chinese braided trim here from D. That's like my absolute favorite. And then this stunning wide panel cotton lace. And I wanted to leave that plain so you could really just see the rose detail and this gorgeous edging. And then I've covered the uh, felt with um, some lace fabric that I had. And then on this page, I covered um, I covered it with this fun eyelet lace. And then I put down my cute image here of a girl in a hot air balloon, and I just found her on Pinterest. And then I put some of these pink flower appliques, which were from a previous kit from D. And then I cut the center of a doily out and used it as a frame, and put some flat back pearls around it. And then I've cut apart this flower applique with these rhinestones in the center. This was a part of it and this was a part of it as well. Uh, that came in Dee's alterations kit as well. And then behind this flower I've put one of Dee's pretty, um, it's almost like an organza layered applique trim. And then this was just an extra piece I had left over from one of her previous kits as well. So I think that turned out beautiful. I just love the color schemes and the roses and her little blue dress. And on this page, I laid down some of this wide lace fabric that I got from my friend Julie. Hey Julie, she is Paper Bag Lady 1 here on YouTube. I'm sure you guys know her. And then I layered some of this trim along the edge from Dee's Alterations Kit. This is just a... Uh, scrap I had in my stash from a previous kit years ago when I uh, designed for D, And then I just created kind of a rosette here. So I've used one of D's doilies from her kit. Another tan doily from my stash. I used some crinkled seam binding that I colored with some Lindy Stamp Gang Spray. And I've just added some scrap laces and some white fibers. And then one of her really cute bow... Uh, appliques from a previous kit and then again I use this gimp trim this Chinese like braided gimp trim around the image with some flat back pearls for my stash and then I use this trim from D and I left the flowers together and it's like got this dangly trim behind it with the organza flowers and then they have pearls in the center and then behind that, I've layered Dee's um, tassel fringe trim from her kit. So this page is gorgeous. I loved the colors in her bow and dress and her flowers. So I kind of want to complement that on the other side. This girl has kind of a um, aqua blue shawl with some pink daisies. So I added this trim that I um, purchased from Dee a long time ago. And behind here, just some more lace panel. This is some vintage panel lace from Dee's previous kits. 
And then this you can purchase on her shop as well. And I've just layered some um, trim that I cut out from a previous kit from her. There's one of her applique roses and they're slightly like layered. They're really pretty. And then just a sparkly flower for my stash. And then this was some trim I had left over from a previous kit as well. And I thought it looked like leaves. So I layered it behind there. There's another one of those roses from D. And then um, carrying over here, I have another one of these like tassel trim flowers like that. And then I just layered some fibers behind. And this is a gorgeous silver and white applique. Um, from a previous kit from her as well and then I had this leftover uh, piece from the doily that I cut out and so I just layered that with a flat back pearl from me and then this page so pretty um, I'm never all sure what to do on my last page because it's like the ending of your project but I layered some of this gold uh, applique trim that I got from D, and I got the idea from Shilpa, thanks Shilpa, to use some gesso over it to kind of um, coordinate the colors a little better. And then here is another one of her gorgeous pieces of applique. And then this was a giant doily for my stash and I just cut out the center to use it as a frame and there's a little girl with her mom there, or maybe their sisters, whatever. Uh, I just thought it was cute. And then I spritzed one of these um, layered trim pieces here with the organza flower and I did another crinkled uh, seam binding bow and then one of her really cute bow appliques there with the pearl and some more of her pretty trim that you can buy on its own around the edge. And then on the inside back cover I layered this trim I got from my friend Julie and some more of that lace from D from the alterations kit and then this trim that she's selling that's that fringy trim with the scallops and it's just so oh, it's so beautiful and then the back cover I just kind of mitt from the front and that is my project I really um, enjoyed making this this was definitely out of my comfort zone but I got so many wonderful products from D, and I wanted to um, use them and use up scraps that I had and a lace book is really a great way to do it and I just kind of went page to page and I looked on Pinterest for a little inspiration but um, I hope my friend loves this and I'll be sending it to her soon with a package of goodies and I thank you all for watching. Bye!